Hello. I have Zoom R16 for repair here. In one of my previous videos, quite some time ago, I tried repairing another R16 and that was complete fail. Seems like power supply died and killed R16. There was a burn hole in the microcontroller. And I made another video analyzing and repairing the power supply. I will put links in the description just in case you are interested and haven't seen them. So I'm hoping to have better luck this time. I bought this R16 also quite cheap because it has a problem with the SD card slot and it seems to work fine otherwise. Let's have a look. So it says no card because I didn't put one in yet and let's try powering up with a card. So now it doesn't say there is no card, but if I try, let's say, formatting the card, it says card error. And of course I tried a different card and the cards are tested, no problem at all with them. And this is how it was described. So let's take this thing apart, have a look inside and see what can we do about it. I took this thing apart. I showed how in my previous video, so I didn't bother this time. So here we are. This version is cleaner. The other one had uh, a lot of bodge wires here and here. So this is probably a newer version of the PCB. And uh, here is the SD card slot. I looked for cracked soldering joints here and I don't see any. It doesn't mean they are not cracked, they can be really hard to see. But I think I saw a bent pin inside of this thing and it's hard to show on camera. So I'm going to try to shine some light right into the slot and take a few close-up pictures. Here I have a couple of pictures and here we can see all the pins in this slot and this one on the left must be bent. And let's see if there is a better view here. This one. It turns out it's quite easy to remove this little cover. And there are a couple of springs here in the ejection mechanism, so you need to be careful not to lose them. And we have a problem. I just started bending this little pin slightly and it broke right off. Here is the broken off piece, hopefully you can see it. So I think I need to replace this SD card connector. I tried to find a replacement for this SD card connector because I think it might not be very easy to salvage one from that dead R16. It's one thing to desolder and throw away and solder a new one and quite another thing to desolder without damaging, without melting the plastic and such and reuse. So I started looking and there is a faint mark here, Alps. And this mark seems like is not very useful, at least it did not help me at all. Probably it is a date code or something like that. And there are so many Alps connectors with different pin configurations that I could not find the right one for quite some time. And finally I found this datasheet with several styles and I think we need this style number 6 because it has standoff and the correct pin configuration. If we go back to our picture here 
Uh, you see this uh, card slot is not sitting right on top of the board, but there is some standoff. And I measured this distance from the top to the board, and it is about 5 millimeters. And uh, there you go, 4.65 plus 05, so this looks right. And the pin configuration is exactly what we have here. 13 pins on the back and uh, 2 pins on this side and 1 pin on this side. And so if we go back here, uh, the style number 6 is this part number, SCDA480400. And I could not find this one anywhere on Digikey, Mouser, Octopart and such, even on eBay. No luck so far. So I decided to try fixing that pin and I think I succeeded. It was broken right in the middle, so there was still a piece sticking out of the plastic. So it can still spring up and down just fine. And I managed to solder it there carefully. And it has the same height as other contacts. And when a card slides in, it does not sit right on top of that surface. It sits slightly higher on plastic guards on the sides. So that soldering joint is not a problem, the card is not touching it at all. And I think I see when the card slides all the way in, how it pushes the contacts down slightly, including the repaired one. So I believe this should work just fine. Let's test. I will hold this card for now. Oh, that's a good sign. Let's try formatting it. All right. No problem at all. So let's put this cover back on and see if that works as well. And now with the cover back on and the ejection mechanism installed, let's see. The mechanism is clicking and working fine. This is working. And let's try formatting the card. No problem. So we have a working Zoom R16. If you enjoyed this repair, give it thumbs up, subscribe and share. Thank you very much. Bye.